We can go right back to uh, what was called in Ireland Black 47. It was 1847 and the potato crop failed. The people did not own the land of Ireland and because we were under foreign rule at that time, quite a lot of the resources of the country left the country. So another cart full of grain leaving for the port this morning. I can't believe they're taking food out of the country. People not knowing whether they'd have literally have a roof over their head that evening. This is our home. We have nowhere else to go. Or the next day. Or the next week. No people have nowhere else to go. Leave them alone! Get down. How could anybody allow this to happen? But it did happen. At least let us get our things. <laughs> There was no alternative food available to people. Uh, people died from famine, from starvation. Uh, there were many famine-related illnesses like typhus uh, and many others. An awful period. Uh, it was the worst one, but not the only one, because after that, there were famines recurring down through the years, right down to 1879, which itself was the famine year. It'll get better. At the time of the operation, there was so much suffering again in the country. You made the right choice. You're a good father. I suppose it's it's the presence. If she could be present at present at the cross to deal with that, for other people around her at the time, she can be present to us now in dealing whatever suffering that we are going through. Disappeared at the chapel quickly. Come, do you see? Oh my goodness! What a vision! Why us? For me, what happened at Knock was a divine intervention in some ways to give a message of hope and joy and indeed mercy uh, to the people of Ireland at this time in their history. It's a gift from God.